Hello there, guess who is back from Scotland? So I'm back now and it's my first day back in the office properly. Um, it was my birthday over the weekend, it was lovely. I had a lovely time with James, it was really nice, it just feels really nice to be back home with the dogs and James and just oh, getting back into like, you know when you've been away and it feels like it's not your home but it's a really familiar place, that's what my home feels like to me right now and I wasn't even gone that long. But anyway, I am just going to go and do a post run, so thank you so much for your orders while I was away, thank you for keeping me busy. So I'm just going to go do the post run, check my PO box because that's been a while since I've checked that. Um, oh, also if you're wondering why I've got a glove on, whilst I was in Scotland I noticed my hand was getting really really painful and I'm not sure why. It has been like an ongoing twinge and it's really quite painful, it goes stiff and it feels like, sorry if you are grossed out by anything um, medical or to do with tendons because it feels like my tendon is a guitar string and somebody is constantly plucking on it. It's rather painful so I've got a glove on to try and keep it as warm as possible even when I'm in the house because no matter what this hand is cold and it feels like the most sensitive thing ever and I'm just trying to look after it. I have just rung the doctors and I've got an appointment next week to go and have it checked out and I am feeling a little bit nervous slash crap about it because I do this full time, illustration is my full time job and at the moment it's very painful to draw and hold a pen or even type so I'm feeling a little bit put out right now that it's my first day back in the office properly and I feel really quite restricted with my hand. So I don't really know how that's going to go down at my doctors, I don't know what they're going to say. Um, I had surgery on it three years ago so it was quite a while but also as my friend has just pointed out to me, I don't really think I got the best aftercare ever with that surgery, but yeah, it's just making me feel a bit nervous because it's my full time job doing this and there's not really a lot I guess that can be done for it other than exercise and rest, so yeah, just try and stay positive Alice. Um, anyway, I'm going to go do the post run, go get my coat on because it is a cold frosty day out there and then I'm going to come back and get cracking with a brand new week. Good morning, we're on Tuesday now and yesterday um, I wanted to vlog this but I was worried that I would screw it up somehow but I framed Bertie for my dad for Christmas and I have to say I'm really pleased with how it looks in the frame, oh, it just looks really nice, I think he's really going to like it for Christmas so that is for my dad, still under the impression he doesn't know my channel exists so that's always a bonus. Um, so that's his, oh, that's hand cream, that's his Christmas present sorted now, so I'm going to pop Bertie down here. I want to take a picture, um, just so I don't forget, like, when Christmas comes, I want to be able to just get a quick picture of it before I give it away. Um, and then I'm going to bubble wrap it with some bubble wrap that I've got left from an order, uh, a stock delivery that I've got, and then I'm going to probably wrap it soon so it doesn't get damaged. Just munching on some of this birthday chocolate that I got for myself with Hotel Chocolat. By the way, you guys, if you sign up to their VIP club, which is free, this is not sponsored, this is not gifted, I'm just telling you because it's too good to miss. Every birthday you get sent um, a fiver voucher to spend and that's what I got um, this with. I think they do an offer, so I got a few of these. Um, but yeah, I got one for myself because birthday chocolate and they're really, really nice. I've, you get two slabs this size and as you can see I've been eating them. But they're really nice and for the sake of a birthday voucher, you can I think you can collect points perhaps when you scan your card. And that's what I do. I just give it to them every time I go in because I really like this brand and they do vegan chocolate. So, going to get packing um, some orders and I've also got my patron boxes just there ready to be finished. I'm just finishing the December stickers for those and then I can box all of those up ready to take to the post office tomorrow. Hello, welcome back. It is now Wednesday. I'm in my coat and scarf because last night our boiler broke and i don't know about you but i'm sick of hearing this one now and because of that i'm very snotty so last night it broke it's well and truly gone to heaven now um if you're an oldie but goldie in these parts you may remember that not that long ago boiler broke <laughs> we have lived in this house now for it'll be three years at the end of january 
it's done nothing but causes grief this boiler it literally needs ripping out and a new one putting in its place everyone who's ever looked at our boiler has literally cringed at the brand and i'm not going to mention them because i'm not a boiler expert and it's also not my place to be slagging off boilers when i know very little about boilers all i know is that ours is shit ours is shit before i proceed any further into this week i thought i'd let you guys know that i will probably be in my coat and scarf because um today i'm actually trying to get some quotes i've just got one from one brand i'm gonna do two more and then i am going to bite the bullet and order a new boiler we have no hot water um either or heating and i know they're very first world problems it is the middle of winter and it's only going to get colder here it's very cold i've got two miserable dogs as well because it's just so cold and you know it's you don't know how lucky you are to have heating and hot water it's one of them things where you just don't know how much you use it or how fortunate you are to have it until it is gone and this house is like an igloo right now so i'm still working but the priority is to get a new boiler sorted asap because it's very very cold and christmas is just around the corner which is very unfortunate i'm sucking on a mint for moral support because james is at work and i've got to get this sorted i keep ringing him to like check various bits and pieces um also i've got a friend who used to work for a boiler company so she's been helping me out a little bit and um, with things to look out for and whatnot and companies that are reliable and have your back with you know things like breakages and failures and warranties right let's get some quotes i'm going to do two more then make a decision because we haven't got time to just mull it over for too long we just need to find one make a decision and get a new boiler before my nose falls off because i'm very snotty and can't stop sneezing <laughs> okay so it's now 25 to 2 i've been doing that now for a good three hours uh, we've ordered a new boiler, it's meant to be being installed on Tuesday, so next week. Um, it's quite a while to be in an igloo of a house, but also it's it could be longer, so I'm happy with that. Happy that it is Tuesday, don't have to wait too much longer. Um, let's just have everything crossed that they don't turn up and because they haven't actually done a home survey yet and told us whether it can all go ahead so i'm going to go and get a cup of tea because it's cold and then i'm going to try and crack on with the rest of my patron parcels because i sent half this morning but then had to rush home and deal with this so let's see if we can get these done now okay guys i have um a disney christmas ornament to show you if you were here last year i've just peeled my address label off if you're wondering what this is um if you were here last year you may remember that i mulled over a christmas tree decoration um from disney am i making any sense feels like i'm not it's quite well it's not late late it's 10 to 7 and i have an evening of work lined up um in the studio tonight so here i am um james is out at his warhammer club so i'm gonna be in here for the evening um chilling with buble and packing the last month patron orders but anyway back to the point ellis stop waffling last year i mulled over starting a disney christmas tree ornament collection and i was like nope i'm not gonna do it because i'll just buy too many ornaments I just I put it off because I was it was one of them things I was like do I need them or do I just want them and then I was like life's too short and in the end I was like I'm not gonna do it because like individually they're quite expensive as well and I just thought mm, I don't know what to do anyway I was in Scotland last week with Leanne and she surprised me one of my birthday presents was the white rabbit bauble and it's it's a good size it's about this big but it's made of glass it was very delicate and on top of being made of glass it wouldn't even fit in my suitcase in its box so she's very kindly posting it down to me which is so lovely of her then we went to the disney store so it's leanne's fault really let's just cut to the chase it's leanne's fault that i've started this collection then we went to the disney store together whilst i was with her 
and I saw this one. Um, ignore my nails, I've still not had a chance to do them. But this is Mr. Toad from Ichabod Crane. And Mr. Toad, if you've not seen it, it's a classic Disney. It's one of the older ones. But I just thought he's such an underrated character and I was really surprised to see him as a Christmas decoration. And they had a bit of a discount on um for might have been black friday or something and yeah i bought this before the boiler situation otherwise i wouldn't because the boiler has ruined me you guys the boiler has ruined us this week and it's not been great so this is like my little indulgence before said boiler breaking but i got mr toad and i love him i think he was about 10 pounds um so I now have two. I'm still waiting for the white rabbit to turn up because I think Leanne posted him today. But I will show you him once he turns up. And then, if you remember from last year, I really wanted Miko. And luckily, they've brought Miko back this year. Miko is one of my favourite, if not my favourite, Disney character of all time. So let's open it up. Aren't these Disney boxes amazing though? I mean, you can cut these bits out and give them to your children or yourself to colour in. I show you up against the wall is that better lighting in here is awful I am sorry but oh my goodness isn't he adorable he's very cute he's a lot smaller than I thought he would be I think he was meant to be 10 pounds and he was in the sale when I ordered him online they weren't in the shop unfortunately um, when I got Mr Toad um, but yeah I think this one yeah 10 pounds and I think he was in the Black Friday deal sale bit for 7.99 and he's got some lovely glittery bits on him there and i'm quite pleased i got him in fact i'm very pleased i got him because i wanted him last year so it's nice to see that they do um bring them back the year after and i think what i'm gonna do is limit myself to i want to try and just stick to one a year but if i end up buying two i won't be mad at myself but yeah i think if we aim for one a year that would be nice you know what it's so windy tonight that vespa keeps like yapping at our letterbox because it keeps flapping and I'm like, oh, we're in for just this house. Just knock it down. There he is. Oh my goodness, it is quite a bit smaller. Considering the price difference, it is crazy. Um, but yeah, that's my little Christmas indulgence for you guys at the moment. The thing with these two is they're not like strictly Christmas. I mean, I know Miko is holding something that's a bit more festive. But we have kind of decided that... Um, well, I mean, the white rabbit one is a bauble, so we'll see how it looks on here and whether it actually sits because it's a bauble. But these ones look nice just on our Disney bookcase where all our DVDs are, so these are probably going to stay out all year round, these two. And depending on which other ones we get, it's very exciting. Shall we go show you Christmas now? Christmas came out last night. We don't usually do it um, this early. But because we've had a crap week, we thought we'd just cheer ourselves up a bit and just get Christmas out. So here's our tree. It's a twig tree from, it was from Wilco's actually, and we love it. We love um, a slightly different Christmas tree and there's all the different um, baubles on it and things. We'll see how this camera handles lights and things because this is my camera's first Christmas. Uh, this is one of my favourite baubles. I'm sorry that this is meant to be a studio vlog and I'm now showing you around my house and showing you Christmas. This is one of my favourite baubles. That was from Paper Chase a few years ago. But as I say, I had a crap week and I'm like, I'll just show you guys Christmas. I'll just show you guys Christmas and bask in the sparkle. This one does not want to focus. Here we go. So that one, if you were here last year, you might remember it from last year. I love like a white theme at Christmas, I just think it's really really pretty. Um, there are a couple of new ones for this year as well, like this one here is a new one for this year, as is this one here, he's very cute. And then there's a little unicorn down here. I love them, I just love the theme in so much. Happy to have Christmas out, Um, haven't wrapped any prezzies yet to put under the tree, so I've just kind of made a weird little display down here anyway let's go and finish our patron parcels still got my ears on i wear them in the shower to keep my hair out of my face but welcome to bedtime with ellis um this vlog is turning into more of 
a life vlog not a studio vlog but when it's so cold um it makes me just like not want to be in there like not want to be in the office like i've done everything i can today i keep getting something in this eye i think there must be an eyelash somewhere beautiful so yeah that is me i am going to be back tomorrow with hopefully something a little bit more exciting other than just wallowing in self-pity over home and life stuff Okay, patron parcels are all packed. Orders are packed. Let's go to the post office. Okay, so I'm now home, but I have had a parcel delivered to the wrong address. Yodel have taken my dog's food delivery to somebody else. I don't know where. They've said they've left it um, on my front porch. I don't really have a front porch, nor have I had the slip pushed through my door that they've said they've left. So I'm just guessing here. What is going on in there? The next door's cat sits on our shed and Custard likes to tell her off. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I've not had a slip through the door. There is no parcel. I've checked everywhere. So just putting two and two together here, I think it's been taken to the wrong address. You know when you just have one of them weeks where things just go wrong? It's, it's been one of them weeks. So, on that note, I've taken all of my bubblegum patron parcels to the post office. I've got now my cola bottle ones to make up, so that is what I'm going to do. Um, it took me a long time to get home from the post office as well, just then. There's a lot of roadworks going on, so it took me a while. So, now I'm home. I'm going to try and warm up. The house is freezing, but um, we're hanging on in there. Oh, why? You know when you're chasing stuff like this and you're like, right, my parcel hasn't been left where you've said it is and they're like have you checked the front porch i don't have a porch mate i also am aware that today is the 6th of december so yeah it was what she said did you check no where's the slip then they've told me i've had a slip through the door it's hard to remain patient and I have the patience of a saint. Oh, he's typing again. It's like sometimes people... Yeah, we will ensure this would never happen in the future, but it does, Yodel. It does. Hmm. You know when you give them every detail that you possibly can and they just ignore it and you're like, and then they, they ask you for that detail and you're like, read the message, read the message.
boiler to be done tomorrow but for now um i've just packed the last few patron parcels and a few shop orders i'm now going to go to the post office um oh i wrapped Bertie last night we're always done now um, i'm gonna go to the post office i also need to pack um like a wash bag because i'm gonna go to my dad's straight after for a shower <laughs> bless our families and thank you for offering us their showers and facilities until the boiler is fixed but yeah i'm gonna go do this and then go and get a shower we have also been given these to borrow so i've got two of these and then i've got like an oil radiator thing downstairs but they are helping take the edge off a little bit because it is freezing okay wash bag is ready let's take these parcels go and get clean and then we can come home and proceed with the rest of the day Oh my goodness okay i've just come home from my dad's and i was so so happy to see some happy mail so i'm gonna do a little happy mail segment because this week or well, the past week has been utterly well and truly crap it's been one thing after another various things going on in the background oh i best answer that <laughs> Anyway, can't remember what I was saying before I went and answered that call. Um, but I've had a paper gown box, which I'm very excited about. It was really unexpected, actually, because I had a six-month subscription gifted to me from paper gown because I love their stuff so, so much. And if you guys have been here for the last few months, you may have um, noticed a couple of unboxings from paper gang but this one you guys is designed by amy lesko who is one of my favorite illustrators and one of my lovely um small business friends so this is so exciting then i have some happy mail from leanne under here and it might what is that noise that's a plane or a very loud skateboard whichever it is i'm not sure anyway this one here could be um the birthday presents that I left behind in Scotland that wouldn't fit in my suitcase. I'm going to do this one first. Guys, these are my Christmas prezzies from Leanne, which obviously I can't open now because it's not Christmas. And I like to stick to Christmas. But look at how gorgeous this paper is. I'd love to know who made and designed this paper. It's stunning. So there's a couple of prezzies. Um, this one, look at the fox on this paper. Isn't he handsome? Uh, there is a tag on this one that says open me before Christmas you'll need me um, but I just want to ask before I open it like when when do you want me to open it I don't want to do it today in case it's too early but it does say open me before Christmas what does that mean what would you guys do would you open it also these little bits were from um, my birthday present from Leanne which was I think I showed it in my scotland vlog but i've not shown you guys yet let's let's share some small business love leanne commissioned from the lovely sophie from bumble and bee who you guys know i'm a huge huge fan of but she commissioned this little botrical um his name is bean and with him came this paper flower that's made out of um harry potter pages like referring to the bertie blots every flavor bean parts of the stories which is just lovely and then one of sophie's foraged for little pine cones and things but how adorable he was able to come back in my suitcase with me because he's so dinky but i didn't want these to get squashed so she's very kindly shipped them back to me from scotland so thank you um she's also popped in one of her own wooden pins that she's had made and this is adorable it's so festive and pretty it's like a wintry scene with books and like a little lantern oh it's so pretty and then there are a couple of her charms there's this little foxy i think it's an arctic fox surrounded by like festive foliage and then there's her jane air uh oh, i can't really see it that far away hang on the bird flying from the cage charms i'm gonna pop those onto my notice board they're really really pretty thank you leanne thank you for cheering me up with a little bit of happy mail it came at such a good time because i was about to blow my lid when i got home right okay time for a bit of let's go time for a bit of the let's go okay open oh so oh my god candy kittens oh i've not tried this flavor before but 
their tropical mango and they're the vegan friendly ones. Oh my god, they're delicious. Mmm, they're so nice. Mm. Oh my god, they're not going to last me very long at all. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's also in here um, some pens. So there's a strawberry one. One that says harness today on it. There's one here that says doing things. Ah, and then there's a rainbow. Okay, let's open the rest of the box. Oh my goodness. Mm, let's zoom you in. Oh my god. This might be my favourite box today. Oh my god. And the last one was cute, but this one. I just love Amy's work. There's these post-it notes with like a little purpley sun on there. Oh my goodness. There is the little booklet, which as usual tells you a bit about the artist. Go with the flow. Oh, here she is. Here's Amy. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm way too happy about this. But oh my God, look at that little face. Oh, Amy, I love you. Here we have what look like sheets of stickers. Yeah, so there's two with these designs on. If my camera could focus for once in its life, that would be awesome. So there's these ones and then... Oh, they're all the same, I think. Yeah, so four sheets with these stickers on. Lovely. There's the usual monthly planner card. And then this gorgeous... I'm going to have to zoom you back out now because this is a giant item. There's this gorgeous hardbacked... Um, is it a notepad? Is it a planner? What is it? This planner belongs to... Oh my goodness, it is a planner. Oh, wow. This is going to keep me super organised next year. I love a good planner and Amy's are oh, just, mm, I love this little laptop here, that is adorable. Oh my god, this box has cheered me up so, so much. Ah, oh, yes, thank you. Thank you so, so much, Paper Gang. I'm a big fan of Amy's work anyway and to just receive a bundle of her designs is, oh, it's magical. I love it. So, thank you, Paper Gang. Hello, I come to you today a little bit warmer. Hello everyone, <laughs> I've defrosted. Uh, the lighting is totally unflattering. I look really tired because I am. I've not had like just an English breakfast tea for months because I just went off it. And then today I was like, I fancy an English breakfast tea and it tastes amazing because I've not had one for so long. It's just, mm, so comforting. So let's update you guys on where we're at today. Boiler Man got here at eight o'clock this morning and he's just this minute left. So it's five to four. It's been a very long day for him, bless him. But we've got a new boiler. Everything works. Fingers crossed it stays working and it doesn't I'm about to sing their praises so I really hope that everything stays working because this whole experience getting a boiler through this company has been flawless and I know I said earlier in the vlog that I wasn't going to slag off my other boiler because I don't know anything about boilers but what I will say is we've got the new one through a company called Boxed what was that? I think that was my radiator gurgling because they've had to be drained and then whatever um, but yeah, Boxed, B-O-X-T, and they've just been great. Uh, that whole process of getting a new boiler, and let's remove that hair, staying in touch, communicating with us, uh, their installation times, and just explaining things to us um, has been amazing. And I obviously i am not really a home or life channel. We are primarily an arts and crafty bits channel here, but... If you're anything like me and something like this happens and your boiler breaks and you're like, I don't know what to do, you don't know where to go, you don't know who to turn to to get a new boiler, it can all be very confusing, um, I just thought I would share that piece of information because you just never know who it might help. Um, 
de-riddle the ever ongoing maze that is adulthood so yeah i'm very very pleased with it it's been a long day of just awkwardness you know and someone's in your house working um but he was fine he was lovely and he got everything done um so what i've been doing today is i took my laptop my ipad and my new planner <laughs> downstairs and i've got done half of my january sticker sheet for my patrons i've also designed the february wooden pin for patron which is why i haven't really filmed or vlogged any of that because it's kind of like it's not a secret it's not like top secret or anything but it is meant to be kind of a surprise which is why i don't really share that process very much but yeah that's it's a shame because the wooden pins are really exciting when i bring them out but also it's kind of it's part of the as part of the patron experience i guess so that's why i've not really vlogged very much but hopefully as of tomorrow we can get back on studio vlogging properly uh, so i did that i've had once upon a time on in the background for how how many hours is that nearly eight hours he was here so very long day for the poor chap yeah i've had once upon a time on for eight hours straight which you know it kept me company and avoided any awkward silence in the house because before i put it on awkward silence the other things that I've got done today, unfortunately, are more life admin related business. But you guys may remember, hmm, how many vlogs back was it? Somebody, I took a parcel for a neighbour and the courier ripped our floor, ripped our lino on our kitchen floor. It was a piece of big gym equipment. So the box was actually ripped and he pushed it into the house. And I asked him not to, but he did it anyway. And he pushed it across our kitchen floor and ripped the lino this happened in october so this has been going on for a while now so today i managed to um actually talk to somebody over the phone and i had to then get a quote uh, well not get a quote but get somebody booked in to come and see us to have a look at our kitchen floor to give us a quote for replacing the floor oh god everything's happening at once at the minute and i'm just like <laughs> so hopefully said courier service company will replace it for us because oh, it, i can't express to you it's upsetting enough when something happens and damages your home that you've worked really hard on making lovely let alone when someone else comes into your home and they do it and they don't really seem to care so you know so that was item number two for today that i got sorted item number three last week my dog's food delivery so we have a subscription delivery again if you guys have been here a while you'll know who they are considering cancelling after this because again what a shit storm but the parcel got delivered to the wrong address and it's an entire street away somewhere don't know where but said company asked me to go and knock on they literally asked me i'm not kidding it they asked me to go and knock on every door on that street until i found my parcel because somebody's obviously took it they've signed for it but the driver took it to that address so the poor people at this house probably thought they were just doing a neighbor a favor they haven't stolen it but yeah i don't know of its location and the company have asked me to go and find it and i'm like no i've paid for a subscription service to be delivered to my door and also it's dog food and it's a big heavy bag and what am i supposed to do to drive up and down the streets or walk around the streets trying to find a big bag of dog food and then carry it home like no didn't didn't sign up for that so the food has been with somebody else for quite some time as leanne pointed out to me actually she was like you can't be expected to still feed the food to your dogs when it's been it could have been tampered with i mean it's unlikely but it could have been tampered with it's food that is supposed to come from the manufacturer to your house like this has been left with somebody that you don't know and she's right like the risk are just you wouldn't do it with your kids food if it got delivered to somebody else some parents don't even like their kids like trick-or-treating because people can poison sweets or whatever what kind of a world do we live in but i was like yeah you're right i don't want to feed my dogs the food that's it was literally last week that this happened so it's been with somebody down the road like for a while now and um yeah i can't be expected to feed that food to the dogs so they are sending some more out they've said they'll send a replacement bag out but we've had to go and buy more dog food anyway so it's kind of <laughs> invalidated the point of having the subscription service anyway and i'm just like well now i've paid for two lots of dog food luckily it doesn't go out of date for ages but 
why well, have a subscription service if you then have to go and buy dog food anyway it's just all happening at once and you know when you just like <laughs> i'm just in that mood where i'm like if you want something done properly you just gotta do it yourself i did get some happy mail today in the form of um mail from leanne so in my last um segment segment is a word i've used quite a lot in this studio vlog but um earlier in this vlog i said that leanne was shipping me my christmas bauble that she gifted me for my birthday and it arrived today so it's this one i'll try and um there we go oh this lighting's actually really quite oh it suits it because it's just lovely and passable it's a white rabbit from alice in wonderland it's even got a little dangly chain in there from his pocket watch and again it's a flat ornament so it, i don't think this is strictly christmas like it will look really cute on a christmas tree but it will also look really lovely just sat on the bookcase with the disney dvd so i love it to bits and alice in wonderland you guys know is one of my favorite things in the world so yeah i was i was chuffed to bits of this bauble it's really really pretty i just feel grateful to be warm again it's been a really rough week and as i say you don't know how good you've got these luxuries in life it is heating and hot water until it's gone so I'm kind of having one of those moments right now where i'm like i just feel lucky to be in a position where we could get that replaced it's broken the bank but at least we've got it replaced so yeah that is me today tuesday mm. tomorrow i'm up early again because i am going to the doctor's for half past eight to get my hand looked at so i will let you know how that goes um i have been drawing today so it's not been too bad actually and yeah i'm hoping that they'll be able to uh, suggest something i don't know it's been going on for ages but we'll see what they say and then i'll come home and proceed with the working week so yeah i'll definitely smash these two weeks together again oh bless him i just had to run downstairs boiler man came back he was like 10 minutes away and he forgot that he'd forgot one screw to put in and he was like i'm really sorry i forgot a screw i was like one screw it's fine but he's come back bless him and done it <laughs> i've just got one of those fathers who sends me stuff like this all the time usually i get freddie mercury going nope <laughs> okay so i have been following the lovely emma from emma inks since both of our blogging days which started hmm, i think i started blogging about five years ago and that's how i met emma and she's so lovely and i watch her channel and have followed her art journey and small business journey i think from the start actually um because i think we both went freelance at like a similar time i'm pretty sure i've also been following her hand screen printed t-shirt journey and she's put so much work into these guys seeing how hard emma has worked on and developed and designed and just the whole process behind these t-shirts i wanted to get one so i used a little bit of birthday money to um get one of emma's t-shirts um the rest of it has gone on the boiler so i was like i am going to treat myself just to a little t-shirt with some birthday money because i tell you what it's depressing as hell isn't it when it it, it all goes on the boiler I, this whole vlog should we just call it the boiler saga anyway um i wanted to show you guys because she's worked so hard and she deserves all the love in the world and she's popped in a little sticker and one of her Christmassy greeting cards. I love this one. It's one of my favourite Christmas cards from her. And they're in cello compostables. This is where you can find Emma and her work. I think she has started blogging again now as well. So if you're into travel, I just highly recommend Emma. She is just such a lovely, lovely, sweet person. And um, yeah, let's open up the t-shirt. Oh, it just excites me that she's made this herself. Oh, yes. So it is just plain black, but this is the design on the front. Oh my god. Oh, it's lovely. I had to get one because, as I say, she worked really, really hard on these. And oh, it's so soft. I got it in a size, I think I went for an extra small. Yes, I did. So I'm going to pop it on, see how it fits, let you guys know how the fit is. And then I'm going to tell you about how the doctors went today because that is where I've just been. Oh my god, I actually love it oh it's such a nice fit but yes this is the print and she hand screen prints 
all of them and oh, I love it so much. I want to wear black a lot more. I just feel like it's just such a lovely clean colour and I don't wear black a lot but hmm, I like it. Matches the colour of my heart and soul this week. I got some jelly tots last night to cheer me up because... <laughs> Um, okay, so I went to the doctors this morning, they've said that with it being a tendon injury that I've had and having had surgery on it, um, it's never going to get any better to cut a long one short. Um, with tendon injuries, if you guys have ever had one, it's all about management. So I have been referred to um, more physio, so we'll see how that goes. I think I have to have an over the phone a consultation like an assessment and then they might need to see me face to face but they can give me something to work on I have been carrying on with the physio that I had um, given to me like after my surgery so I've kept up with that but it would be interesting to see if a different physio has got any different suggestions but that is how my doctor's appointment went with my hand to conclude there's not much that can be done because it's just the nature of those like specific injuries they never get any better, they never really get any stronger, it's just about managing the pain, the stiffness and everything else that comes with it I suppose. But at least I know that I've got some physio to be referred to and I can try and, it's got the ball rolling a little bit to try and see what else might be able to be done about it to help me manage a bit more. Other than that it's just keeping it warm, keeping on like keeping up with my exercises and taking breaks again when I need them because if you don't you can do more damage than good so yeah that's how that went okay so for now I need to pay the second half of this boiler bill <laughs> then I am going to put some key rings together just to kind of replenish my stock drawer and then I need to tidy my stock drawers because they're a bit crazy right now so I'm waiting for some sticker paper so I can fulfill some orders um, that came through yesterday that should come either today or tomorrow though so we'll see when that arrives and then we can replenish stickers but for now I'm just going to pay this bill lord help me guys do you remember the parcel earlier from Leanne <laughs> that I didn't want to open but then curiosity got the better of me and it's this Ellis Shelby Christmas stocking guys get yourself a friend who understands your Peaky Blinders obsessions and more this was my birthday card from Leanne this was from an Etsy shop I'm sure if you just search Peaky Blinders card something similar will come up but it was from Etsy in fact this one is from print and stuff studio and then she got me this print of tommy i couldn't tell you where this is from i'm really sorry but again i think it's from etsy and i think you can get all of the characters if not all of them there's a handful available but isn't she just the best just fueling my passion here um these are going up on my notice board and this thing is going up for christmas without waste they kindly sent me some bits um like travel reusable bamboo stuff and they also sent one of these metal drinkers as well so yeah the brand is without waste i'll link them below but i've been after for a while and i was really really shocked to see that they got in touch because i've been after where's my toothbrush probably in the bathroom that's where toothbrushes live ellis new bamboo toothbrush and there's also a toothbrush holder 
how cool is that and i've been after some of these for a while that i can just pop in my bag i need like a little pouch to put them in there's a straw as well so a bamboo straw that you can reuse and they've also put in a cleaning brush for the straw but i've wanted some reusable bamboo cutlery and they got in touch and asked if I'd like some so I just thought I'd let you guys know I just like to share things like this because I know a lot of you have an interest in um, eco eco stuff so I'll just put them back in there for now but oh lovely and toasty tonight you guys the house feels lovely <laughs> normally show these these are um my sticker sheets that i make for my patrons i know i said earlier in the vlog that it's not really a secret but it is something that's not like you know hugely promoted and as i said earlier in the vlog it's not something that is a massive secret but i thought it would be nice to just share them every so often because i have been working on these this week I started when the boiler man was here um so i've just done this little envelope little rainbow happy mail and because it's like a january um i don't want to do like a new year new you theme because i know some people don't like that i'd rather do um just more of like a kind of positivity pack a little happy pack of stickers a cheerful really bright colorful pack um so i always try and do 10 and it's always at least 10 sorry so any gaps that there are like this one here I always try and put a few more stickers in so we've got all of this space down here left to put some more designs on so usually there's at least 10 stickers I think it averages maybe even 13 sometimes 14 but yeah that's where I'm at today so I'm gonna try and do as much of this as possible so how many's on there six so I need to do four more then I can fill the gaps with some smaller designs <laughs> from this angle but welcome to a different corner of the studio <laughs> i am having seriously you know when you're like who has got it in for me right now probably many people but i'm having somewhat of a printer crisis tonight and i thought i would share some real life business small business it's like realness as if we haven't had enough of that in this vlog i have been making up the last of my patron stickers today and I'm not gonna lie, they were the most important ones because they're like a festive themed sticker pack. Some people are international patrons, so I wanted to make sure like the deadline to get those posted is tomorrow. And I've been waiting for a few days now for a fresh delivery of sticker paper to get here, which is why I'm running a little bit late. So I had to wait for sticker paper to get here. It arrived today, I managed to bang out all of my patron stickers. They're ready to go tomorrow and I was more concerned about getting those done because it would really suck if my patrons received festive Christmassy themed stickers after Christmas. Nobody wants that. So they're all done and I'm happy about that. However, I've had a couple of orders come through which are nothing but stickers. Literally, there's like four sticker packs in each order. There's only two orders, but there's four sticker packs in each, which I'm obviously very grateful for. Um, however, here's where the realness kicks in. I have got a big beastie printer that I invested a lot of money into in January this year. However, I mean, I was mulling over the purchase for ages because printing on demand 
and not wasting a lot of money on prints and things that you don't know might sell is it's good to print on demand but it's also very expensive uh, depending on your printer but I was struggling to find a printer that I personally felt was a decent enough quality um, that was also manageable to run usually I can replace the ink cartridges and it's fine they're expensive but you know you just get on with it you invest in a printer it's part of the package however last week my printer ran out of ink that one is bone dry and I haven't had the money I have not been able to afford to replace my ink cartridges so I have got a backup printer which is my trusty old HP Envy it's a really cheap lovely printer and I'm on the HP instant ink scheme with them and usually I can't fault them, I've never had a problem before and it's still a really good performance. The reason I got the big printer was for prints. My HP MV can't take a thicker paper, it just will not feed, whereas this big beastie printer takes really thick, lovely, hard cardstock. My HP MV, luckily, is a really decent printer for stickers still, so I was like, okay, I'll use my HP MV because I haven't got any ink elsewhere. The instant ink scheme, they send you fresh ink cartridges just before you're ready for a fresh one. So you've got it there ready and waiting and they post it to you. They're also really great, obviously this isn't sponsored or gifted or anything, I pay for this service, and you then ship your old empty cartridges back to them free of charge and they recycle them. So, you know, it's, I, I like it, I like it a lot. However, the cartridge, <laughs> the coloured cartridge ran out this evening after I'd done all my Patreon stickers. It's been running low for a while and it's like, again, bone dry so I went to put in the fresh cartridge that I've had sat under my desk now for a few weeks because they're really good they'll send you a cartridge way before you need it but I thought right I've got a fresh cartridge all is good in the hood and then I went to put it in and it's actually a damaged cartridge there's it's got like damage to its chip so the printer is like sorry no can do here I have looked online at getting cartridges i could order some through amazon prime i think it's a bit too late for prime actually tonight um but i could get them tomorrow if i spend over a certain amount or something um my dad's got a printer and my mum's got a printer so i think what i might do is just i think i need to print three or four pages no more than that to be able to fulfill these sticker packs and i think what i'll do is i'll put my creek in the car so take it on a little bit of a road trip to my father's because he's closer than my mum pack up the orders as much as I can, take my supplies to my dad's, print the stickers there, make them up there, then go to the post office because he's the side of town that post office is as well. I wish something would just go smoothly. These past two weeks I'm just like, oh. Sometimes that's how it goes. Sometimes ink for printers rips you off it sucks you dry and amongst everything else that's been going on on i don't talk about money very much because money is one of my biggest anxiety triggers and i know you guys do appreciate when we talk about anxiety just a little bit because it is a very real thing and so many people do struggle with it but money for me is like one of them things that i'm like i can't talk about it it just ugh. but and i think that's why i've struggled these past two weeks to just process things because it's scary and not only is it scary at the best of times but christmas is in two weeks less than two weeks now and i'm just like wow amongst other things it's been just quite scary so yeah that is my plan um, right now I'm going to pack those two orders, I've done the rest of my orders and my patron parcels but I'll pack these two as much as I can, then I'll put together my sticker paper, my compostable cellos and my little bits of packaging that just go on my sticker packs and take everything to my dad's. Then once I'm there I can hopefully, if that printer wants to talk to my iPad and my Cree cup, <laughs> I don't know how it works. I might even nip to Sainsbury's tomorrow and see if I can get some more ink cartridges. But again they're expensive, they're cheaper than the big printer, they're cheaper than my Canon printer ones but still I'm like I pay for this instant ink scheme and I'm buying more cartridges that don't work and you... Right let's, let's do what we can and then we will assess the situation it's beginning to look a lot like christmas
Okay guys, it's a new day. Um, I'm gonna go to my dad's if this doesn't work. What I tried to do was shake up the ink cartridge and just kind of try and encourage any residue leftover ink that was in the empty old cartridge to make its way down to the bottom. It seems to have worked, so I've done one sheet. One sheet! That means that I can get these ones done I'm going to push it as far as I can, you guys. I've put the rest of my stickers on my website out of stock. So, um, apart from the animal activism ones, but the rest of them are now completely out of stock until I get this problem sorted. I'm going to cut these, make up the bird sticker packs, at least that's those ones done, and then I'm going to see just how far I can take this by giving the ink cartridge literally the kiss of life. We are for now victorious. I've made two bird sticker packs up, so I have a few left to try and do. I'm currently talking to HP chat support, so I will see um, what they say. Right, guys, we managed to do it. Thank you, printer. When in doubt, shake your cartridges. <laughs> right, on that note, I'm going to go to the post office now and call this vlog complete because it's like an hour long. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Trials and tribulations and all that jazz. But I will be back next week with hopefully something a little bit more festive. Bye.